Hey guys, Isabel and Jessica here. Hi. Welcome back to Real In. Today, if you saw my Harry Potter vlog, we're doing our Harry Potter candy taste test. We have all the candies from Honey Dukes, as well as a special one, the Skyving Snack Boxes from the Weasleys. Ugh. Oh, we definitely need some jelly slugs and the pink coconut ice. And the tongue taut, the one below it. <laughs> yeah, get, get everything. <laughs> the fudge flies, the peppermint toads. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, get some jelly beans. The beans of jelly. <laughs> the fizzing whiz bees. I'm putting and one in here for me as well. Okay. And then we need the bonbons. Are you excited, Jessica? I'm very excited to try the candy. Which one do you want to try first? I really want to try the coconut ice because I have no clue what it is. Okay. You can reach for it. To the me. only ones I've ever had in my life are the, the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans and the Chocolate Frogs and the Peppermint Toads, but I've never had any of these other ones. Oh, I've had the Beans, the Chocolate Frog, and the Fizzing Wispies. What does it smell like? It smells it like, it smells like, like confection. <laughs> oh. It just smells like sugar. Yeah, huge piece. Yeah. Here, let me just like break a piece off of that piece because what if I don't like it? Mm. It's very coconutty. Yeah, the white part. But it's also very sweet. I like it, but you can still kind of feel the coconut texture mm -hmm. in the white part, and that's like a weird thing for me. Oh, you don't like coconut, right? Like the texture of it. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't know why they call it ice though, because it's not really. There's no ice. Yeah. It, but I also can't really stop eating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah. I'd say it's accurate. And I like coconut too. But I'd say I'm not a, like, I don't like super sugary things anymore. I did when I was younger, but this is like, I don't think I could eat all of this because it's so sweet. Yeah. And it's a lot too. I don't know how many ounces, but it's a lot. It's big. Seven ounces. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot. For a candy? Okay. Now I have to, <laughs> yeah, I have water to after that. cleanse my palate. Yeah. Not bad. The texture wasn't what I was expecting it to be though. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I was expecting it to be more like, this is like really weird descriptor, but like confetti. Kind of like shredded. Like paper confetti? Yeah, like paper. Or just like, just like, like spongy, just like not, not like thick. You oh, know? so like less dense. Yeah, that was a lot okay. more denser than I thought it was gonna be. Interesting. Okay, let's try the caramel cobwebs. Ooh. The packaging though for all of them, I feel like, is really good. Yeah, like, like if you wanted to take it on the plane home, mm -hmm. nothing's gonna like leak out or anything. Yeah, but I also feel like. It's very like Harry Potter themed. Like, oh yeah. Oh, there's another box. <laughs> there's another paper. I can smell the caramel. I haven't even opened it. I have tried these before, actually. Oh, you have? Yeah. Are they just, I thought they were wafers at first. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's like little white chocolate chip things, like flat ones, and they have cobwebs, or a spider, like an image of a spider web on it. Mm-hmm. So it is white chocolate. Mm. With like a hint of caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do love white chocolate, but I would say on the magic level, those are like a five out of 10. Mm -hmm. Magic level for sure. But taste level, 
I'd give it a nine out of 10. Okay. I don't know, I feel like if it had a bit more substance, mm -hmm. like like, like I, I really thought it was like a wafer. So that there's like, mm. a, like a crunch to it too. Mm. Yeah, it's literally just chocolate. Yeah, it's like just like, it was kind of plain. flattened chocolate, yeah. Cleanse the palate again. Mm -hmm. What do we have? Let's do the exploding bonbons. Ooh, this one I'm most I've Ooh. been most excited to try. Oh really? And I'm really I'm really hoping I'm not disappointed. Mm -hmm. I've never had them. I don't know what it is. So. It's I know yeah. that it's like a white chocolate with like fruit, like pineapple white chocolate or something. Okay, interesting. I'd honestly buy some of these, like, just for the packaging. <laughs> yeah, the packaging is super cool. Although the one, I'll say when I get to it, but the one, one of these, I'm like, I feel like the packaging doesn't match the Wizarding World. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Fancy. Very nice. So they're literally like, oh, okay. <laughs> We're just gonna take them all out. I hope they actually explode, or like, they like fizzle or something. Should I take a bite or just put the whole thing in your mouth? I think you gotta do the whole thing. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm getting the fruit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, pop mm -hmm. rocks. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but it does taste like pineapple. I think you're right on that. Okay. I was not expecting to bite into something really hard. That's good. What do you think? Flavor wise, I like it. I like the um I mean the pop rocks add a nice little bit of magic, I guess, for yeah. like exploding bonbons. They are. Kind of sticking to my teeth though. Don't tell your dentist that you ate these. <laughs> I kind of want another one, but I know I need to like calm down. Yeah, I've got to try the rest. Yeah. Mm. But I'm, good. I'm glad these are good because I was really looking forward to these ones. I've heard so much about them. What do you think? It's still cracking in my mouth. <laughs> it's still cracking in mine too. <laughs> Actually, they're like like a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I think. Mm -hmm. I give it nine out of 10 just because I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. Okay, I enjoy white chocolate very much. Yeah, but it's still really good. I would definitely buy those again. I know you yeah. bought them, but I would buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna try the blood lollipop. We're gonna have to like, like, like one Blood end. lollipop. <laughs> I, blood pop. It says like, I look, I look these up on like the Harry Potter Wikipedia. And it says like this one turns your mouth like blood red, but I thought it's called the blood pop because it tastes like blood. Ew. <laughs> so, which I wouldn't put it past like that being a thing Ooh. in like the wizarding world. For the vampires. Yeah, for the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make candy for them. You know, JK Rowling does not explore the concept of vampires, but she explores the concept of werewolves a lot more. Yeah. But she says there is a vamp there are vampires. It's mentioned in the books. I don't know how to I don't know how to open this. <laughs> yeah, it looks kinda <laughs> like difficult. It's vacuum sealed. Yeah. It's like it was double wrapped. Does it taste like blood? No. Do you want to taste it? <laughs> uh yeah, I'll take like a little taste. It tastes like fruit punch kind of. Yeah, it's like a, I think it's cherry. Oh, probably. <laughs> it definitely doesn't taste like blood, so that's good. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. <laughs> it's, it's a lollipop. Yeah, it's just a lollipop. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get it back. It's very sticky, which I feel like they probably use like corn syrup or something. Mm-hmm. And that's supposed to like make your mouth very red. Probably. Is it red? It'll lick your tongues a little bit. Is mine. Not really. Okay. I don't really <laughs> like it. All right, your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we have left? 
We have a good couple stuff. Yeah, let's do fudge flies. Ooh. Yeah, I make sure I picked up the right one. <laughs> Never had these. I wonder if they'll be fudgy. I wonder if they'll be flyy. Ooh, there's crushed up flies in it. Oh, they are flies. Cool. Thank you. They did the shape pretty well. Like, yeah, we did. The little flies. It kind of just tastes like the chocolate frog. I thought it was supposed to have like a nut in them or something. Oh. So like, it's like you're eating like a, like a fly. It has like the crunch to mm -hmm. it. But these are just, or like the, yeah, like the little wafer crunches. Mm-hmm. These are just chocolate. Yeah, nothing else in it. And the chocolate's not even good. Yeah. It's like, um, it's like that Easter chocolate. Oh, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because some Easter is. chocolates are good, but it's like that Easter chocolate that you get for like a mass group of people. Mm-hmm. It's kind of disappointing. Four, four out of ten. Yeah, uh, four out of ten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I probably wouldn't buy it again just because I can get chocolate anywhere, mm -hmm. and I could get like better chocolate. <laughs> yeah, box. The box is cool though. The box is cool. But I swear, I thought they had like. Like, like some like crunch thing in there where like it was like you're eating a fly but yeah. it's like just chocolate that would have been a nice touch yeah hi Rabbi wizarding world i got you i want to try the felix felices the liquid look yeah whoa that's thick i know it is i was talking to the woman at the counter she says it is like a honey sort of syrup i didn't know that they sold these i wonder if they're like kind of new i knew that they sold the love potions but I didn't know that the love potions were edible until like yesterday. <laughs> it is edible, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I better be lucky. I have some finals coming up. Maybe I should save it for then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sparkly. I know. I'm inside. I, I almost don't want to drink it. <laughs> no, we don't have to. No, we're going to. Okay. Oh, it's, okay, good. It's a twist. Oh, it's That's a cool bottle. <laughs> it's so thick. <laughs> Is it gross? It doesn't smell like anything. Is it nasty? It's not what I expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, it's not... It tastes like you shouldn't be eating it. <laughs> mm -mm. It tastes like a bunch of chemicals. Uh... And like, like a, like a syrupy chemical. I barely got the honey in that I one. Need water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would buy it for like the aesthetic looks. And like put it on like my shelf. Cause honestly this looks better than the actual like noble collection replica of Felix Felicis. Oh really? Yeah, because it doesn't come with any like gold liquid inside. It's just like a gold, like glassish, like outer bottle oh. that says Felix Felicis on it. Oh. I mean, that's cool because it actually has something in it. Yeah, so I like that. But like, taste wise, zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks really cool. It does look cool. I would get it for a stick. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, your turn. <laughs> well, I think we should get the other liquid out of the way and do the love potion. See, the woman said that this one, she thinks tastes like roses. That doesn't sound... So it's... I feel like that should be better. It looks like it would be a bubble bath in the bottle. Actually, this, let me just make sure it is edible. <laughs> it said liquid sweets. Yeah. Hand wash only. Why would you? Oh, I guess to keep it. Well, if it is soap, everyone will know what it tastes like. <laughs> it does. I can smell like flowers. Oh, 
Ooh, that's thick too. Is it edible? It's edible. Oh. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it kind of smells like a candy. <clears throat> It smells like a corn syrup. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. This one is worse <laughs> than the other one. <laughs> it tastes like straight up corn. Oh god. It I can like I can oh, see I, got it on the side. Sorry. I can see where they're coming from with the roses. But that's not good. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's almost the like the roses make the aftertaste worse than the liquid luck one. Oh my god, zero, negative one, negative five out of ten. No. Yeah, I'd say buy it because it looks cool, but don't drink it. Buy it to put on your shelves, <laughs> but don't drink it. Okay, I need something that's like I know is kind of decent. Let's do the fizzing whizbees. The fizzing whizbees. The packaging kind of looks like it's fireworks. Yeah. Like that part. This is another one that like, just this top part, I feel like it's kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like packaging for like Wizarding World candy is like very different than what it actually is. Mm -hmm. But I've heard some good stuff about this, these ones too. I still have the taste of the rose in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> well, hopefully this will get the taste out. These are big. Yeah. Are they bumblebees? Are they bees? I guess. Oh, whiz, whiz bees. Whiz bees. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, the pop rock too. Actually, the chocolate the chocolate for this one's not bad. Mm-hmm. It's like a darker chocolate. Mm-hmm. I wanna I wanna say I can I can taste like almost like a fruitiness. It's the pop rocks. It's the pop rocks, okay. Yeah. Cause like the chocolate in this one is just like a tad degree better than the Easter mm -hmm. chocolate that was the <laughs> the fudge flies. Yeah. But it's also really rich, so I don't think I could eat all of them at once. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'd have to like take take my time. <laughs> I miss pop rocks. Oh, those are good. Big fan. Oh no! <laughs> I knew I was gonna end up doing that. It's okay. You can just. We'll try the jelly slugs. The slugs. I'm, I'm kind of scared to try these. Really? Just cause, like I like jelly, but I like jellies in like small things. It's mm -hmm. so, like big jelly slugs, cause I think they're large. I'm like the biggest fan of them. You cut one in half. Which is Michelle. This is another packaging I like a lot. It soft. looks very art deco. Soft and chewy. Gummy treats. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, and they're green and yellow. They could have at least made them colorful. Okay, well this green one wants to come to the top. Ooh. <laughs> oh god, that's kinda gross actually. I want to say you just sneak yeah. with the scissors. You can just take your own. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they, they really are sticky. It feels like I'm eating a piece of plastic. Are they supposed to be different flavors? I have no idea. I don't actually taste any flavor though. Like like a hint of maybe like green apple. Yeah. Otherwise I'm eating like a piece of like plastic, kind of. It kind of tastes like dollar store candy. Mm-hmm. I also can't think about the fact that they're supposed to be slugs. <laughs> Actually, I can't even 
I was gonna say, I don't really want the rest yeah, of Yeah, I can't even finish that. Okay. Put that over there. The, <laughs> I'll give like a two, like I'll, I'll give like a three out of 10 because it looks cool. And like they actually look like slugs on the inside, but they don't have any flavor and they're kind of gross to eat. Me. Zero out of 10 for me. Oh, not even the aestheticness. Okay. The peppermint toads. Oh, peppermint toads. I know. I'm hoping these still taste as good as they did last time I got them, which was like six years ago. Ooh, that looks like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does seem dark chocolate. Okay. They look like little toads. I think oh. they're cute though. Cause like the flies, like they have like the, you can tell they have like the bottom outline, but these ones are like strictly just little toads. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Peppermint. Five. I'm here for it. I like it. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm really glad they still are good because I feel like the chocolate industry or whoever is doing the chocolate for the Wizarding World has changed. Because when I went there six years ago, I had the chocolate frog and these. And these are still good, but I know the chocolate, I've had the chocolate frog since then. And I don't know if just like the excitement of being there for the first time, I had my first chocolate frog like from Honey Dukes. I thought it was like the world's best chocolate. But then I had it like, you know, since then I'm like, this is the worst chocolate I've ever eaten. So it's either the excitement or like they just changed manufacturers. Could be both. I feel like everything left is all chocolate. Mm -mm. There's still like two lollipops left. Ooh, let's do the Tun Tung Toffee. <laughs> Invented by Fred and George. I'm surprised they didn't come with the Skyving snack box. It's a big piece. I know. I think I should try and like break it up. What, what do the British people Oh, it's thick. <laughs> what do they classify as Ugh. toffee? <laughs> is it like the hard thing? Like the hard? Because Americans classify toffee as like more soft, I feel like. Mm. It looks really good. I know. It's gonna like hurt my teeth though. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It's a little messy though. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what we would get on like holidays. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to floss and like really brush my teeth tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're already stuck to my gums. That one wasn't bad. Eight out of ten. Mm. Nine out of ten. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I really like the toffee. I like toffee. Okay. Oh, it's good. I like the I like the chewier ones. Mm. I don't like it hard. Mm-mm. Here's my teeth. <laughs> We're almost done. Let's try the Choco Chalk. Add some shock to your Choco Lot. LOL. I I have heard about this one. I think it's just supposed to be like spicy chocolate. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I think it's dark chocolate too. I thought he's really stuck to my teeth. It stuck my teeth too, yeah. Oh! Feeling it? Yeah. Oh, I just got it. Oh, I just got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is spicy. <laughs> Holy crap. Not bad. I kinda like that. I thought it was gonna be lame. Like, like the shock, it was just like spiciness. But like, it's spicy. Oh yeah. It's not, it's not just like, <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> Ooh. And it's dark chocolate. I think the Wizarding World dark chocolate is much better than the milk chocolate. Yeah, I would agree. Look at that, oh, I can still feel it. Mm-hmm. That's like a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, I would definitely buy that if I go back. Um, I'm gonna do these. The Choco Balls. Choco Balls. Strawberry Creams. Ooh. 
thought there was supposed to be another one. I don't know. And then books are in the books are like, like strawberry clean, uh, strawberry and like clot of cream. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I wonder if they had other flavors when you picked it up. I don't know. I thought I just saw this one, but I don't know. Maybe mm. they could have. But I love strawberry. I love like fruit cream filling. You. Yep. Me too. Especially the orange cream filled. Oh, oh, those yes. are so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am excited for this. Oh my god. If these don't taste good, I'm gonna riot. I'm riot! Ta da! Do you wanna split one? Or do you wanna just. I think it's gonna be really messy to split one. Okay. Just gotta take the L and eat a whole chocolate ball. Pink icing. Mm. It is very pink. Oh wow. Neon. Mmm, <laughs> that's strawberry. Okay. The cream is a bit thicker than I thought. I thought it was a bit more like, not like liquid, but like softer. I feel like this is more like a fudge consistency. Mm -hmm. But it still tastes good. This is like almost for like what we've had so far, like a gourmet chocolate. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not like a factory. And probably is, but like it doesn't taste like a factory made chocolate. And it's really, I do enjoy it, but it's very um, rich. Yeah. And I know we have more of these to do, so I'm gonna wait to finish yeah. that one. <laughs> Good call. I shouldn't have finished mine. <laughs> Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Let's try the acid pop. Wouldn't it be crazy if they actually developed one that could like melt your tongue or burn your tongue? I would not want to eat it. No? <laughs> even even for the uh, authenticity? Even for the authenticity. Oh, burn my tongue. They always wrap these things so... I know. Like vacuum seal oh them. Why? I think it's some children or dumb adults. I'm trying to be dumb and get into it. Why <laughs> is it vacuum sealed? Is another, it covered in another There's one? another layer. Oh my goodness. As if the first one wasn't hard enough to get off. Holy cow. Okay. Here we go. We got it. Oh. Uh -huh. You can eat the whole thing. You don't want it? No. It's very sour. It's too hard because it's a lollipop. I'm sure it's good though. <laughs> it's like a warhead. Yeah, it works. <laughs> 10 out of 10 though. 10 out of 10. Because it's authentic. You'd get it again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also really, I enjoy lollipops. Did they have other flavors? No, I think it's just just sour. sour. <laughs> it's like I can't even taste the flavor because it's so sour. Let's do the beans. I'm gonna play a little game of who's gonna get a good one and who's gonna get a gross one. Oh my god. I've never had the vomit flavor one because I'm terrified of vomit. Um, I'm gonna go with like a safe color. I think. Like nothing brown. <laughs> that could be uh, chocolate. You never know. Or it could be... Dirt. 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 The dirt one's not too bad. Oh, the earthworm is pretty. Or red. Usually red's like the bad flavor is like spicy cinnamon. Spicy cinnamon. I think so. You don't like the, you don't like the cinnamon one. No, I do. Oh. That's why it would be like a safe one. Oh. I feel like you also can't go wrong. A lot of green in here. You can't go wrong with like a blue. It would be the bad flavor of blue. I want this red looking. Red. I don't think blue has a bad flavor flavor. Totally eat them at the same time. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pink one. I feel like you can't go bad with the pink one. I don't know what pink would be if it's Cheers. Bad. Cheers. Mine's like fruity. Cinnamon. Nice. I feel like we should try to get a bad one though. I can smell the bad ones in here. Oh, a white, a white one or a green one? Or a brown one? Uh, 
rotten eggs that have spoiled milk or earthworm or dirt or whatever. Oh, brown. I'm just gonna take a nibble of it. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is marshmallow. Oh, I <laughs> got a bad one. <laughs> it's dirt. <laughs> it is dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty dirt. It like didn't have a taste at first. So then I thought, oh, maybe it's like chocolate. Uh, mm -mm. I will never eat the vomit flavored ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, is it my turn? Yeah. I'm not gonna try the sugar quill, I just wanted to show you guys. Cause it like, it's just like a lollipop. But it has a little black tip on the end, like it's actually a quill. Right with it? Yeah. You can't actually write with it, but I thought it was cool. Okay. But I think the last one before we get to the wizard one is the the chocolate frog. Chocolate frog. What card do you think you got? It better not be another founder, because I have so many of those. I want it to be not Gilderoy, because I already have him too. Do you have Dumbledore? You know, I don't. <laughs> so hopefully maybe it's get him. Dumbledore. <laughs> or maybe it'll be a Fantastic Beast one. Do they make those? I think so. Ta -da! Oh. I have no idea who this is. Hengist of Woodcraft. Woodcroft. Driven away from his home by Muggle persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home. No way! That's cool. That's cool. Got a new one for the collection. Yeah. That's a good car. <laughs> yeah, and the movies are a lot smaller. Like, it's okay to go small sometimes. <laughs> I'm just gonna nipple a foot and you can have the other foot. If you want. Um... I'm gonna pass, just because okay. I've already tasted it. Mm -hmm. It may have a little chocolate. Does it taste different? This is a good one. Okay, let me taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like East, it's like the... Sorry, I'll go I want to take a big bite, just a little bite. A little, little wet foot. Mm. Even the texture is different. Oh, it, it does taste different. Yeah. This is like the, the gold, who, who's the company that makes the gold Easter bunnies? The gold foil wrapped Easter bunnies. Will, Wilton's? Whitman's? I don't know, but it tastes like that. Yo, they really sell the people who order them online short. They send yeah. them, they send them the fudge fly chocolates. That's what they do. Yeah, that tastes way different. This is so much fudge fly. This is, I'm so glad my experience was like, it wasn't just my experience for the first time being there. This is good chocolate. Yes. <laughs> and Finally. It makes, me, it makes me so happy. Just don't order from them because your chocolate will be bad. You have to go, unfortunately. You spend $200 per ticket to go. Just to, and then like another $30 just for this. <laughs> just for the good chocolate. Mm. Yes. Very good. Makes me happy. Makes me very happy. This just like made my evening. <laughs> this was actually good chocolate. Maybe just like the flying process, like when they ship it, like the like they have to fly them or like just mail them for like long periods of time. Maybe it just like hardens the chocolate. Maybe. Or maybe they have a separate where like like warehouse. That's what I'm thinking. Where they send out the factory chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it's just like made different. Yeah. That was good. That was chocolatey. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for it. <laughs> okay. The last thing. <laughs>
Which one of the Weasleys do you want to try? <laughs> There's like six things. I don't even know what they are. I got you. Ah, the puking pastels. There's two packages of those. Oh, it looks really? like white chocolate. I, I've had these before. Um, it was like the one thing I bought candy-wise from the Weasleys when I went there like six years ago. <laughs> it's like a hard candy. Oh, okay. Sweet. There was a part of me that was very glad, but also very upset that they didn't actually make you puke. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I know what they taste like, so I'll, I'll eat you. Eat them. It's, it's real hard, like, don't try and get the suck, you have to suck on it. The whole thing? Yeah. It takes a long time to eat. Oh, for real, <laughs> oh. Like, you, like, it's, you can't, like, chew it. You gotta, like, wait, to, like, suck it, wait till it gets smaller. Like a Jolly Rancher. It's like green apple. Really? Is it, like, grape and green apple, or do you think the whole thing is just green apple? Mm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice. I've always wanted to try this one. Oh my gosh, I can pick it up. Oh my god. It's a fever fudge. But it's blue. It's blue. And it's red. Bright blue. Ooh. I literally probably just eat this. <laughs> Is it like an M&M in it? No, I think it's one of those, um, the hot, the hot things that are chewy. Come on. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh uh. Mm mm. That's a weird combo. Yeah. Like it's not bad, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't eat it for fun. Mm mm. Not at all. <laughs> oh no. Mm mm. So I guess is it like a vanilla fudge with red hots? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what I think it is. <laughs> with like food yeah. coloring, make it blue. Oh no, <laughs> that was not for Isabel. Mm -mm. It was a. Mm. I'm, I'm not a fan of like hot cinnamon stuff either. Just. Mm -mm. Yeah. That was kind of disgusting. Anyways, next week you can pick the next one. <laughs> oh, whichever one's in that one. Okay. Closer to it. Oh, the. um. This is the. That was Fever Fudge. No, that's that's puking pastels. I thought the favorite fudge was on the bottom. Oh, nosebleed oh. nougat. Okay, this is nosebleed. Okay, that was faint. Yeah, that was favorite fudge. Okay, okay. Nosebleed nougat. Oh no, I don't want a nosebleed. <laughs> They're very big. Is this pistachios? It looks like pistachios actually. And what are the white thingies? Candies. Oh, it's definitely a nougat. Oh, I was like, is that a marshmallow? Mmm, <laughs> that's good. It's like a nutty, like a nutty marshmallow chocolate thing. Like a kind of like Three Musketeers. Oh yeah, yeah. That's very good. I wasn't expecting it to be like a marshmallow fluff inside. <laughs> a fainting fancy. Last one. Yeah, this is the last. This is our last one. This looks like a jelly, sugar-covered jelly thing. Yeah, like a gumdrop, like a big flattened <laughs> gumdrop. Why are these things so humongous? Is what I would like to know. Why is one like way bigger than the other? <laughs> <laughs> it's just thicker. Five. Bite it in the middle so you get both flavors. Oh, go on. Hmm. It smells interesting. I think. I can't tell what flavor this is. I think it's ginger. Oh. It tastes like ginger too. Hold on, let me try one and then the other. Oh, it comes apart. Ooh. This one could be ginger, the yellow one. I know, it's like, <laughs> it takes forever to chew it. It's so thick. I almost want to say orange, but 
It actually just kind of tastes gross. Like a tangerine. Yeah. They could have had more flavor. They could have been a different flavor. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the... I like um, ginger and stuff, so I don't, I don't mind that. It was interesting. So, do they sell any of these separately? Or do you have to get it in the box? No, they do sell them separately. Even like those? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they come in like... They're like colorful striped or like shapes on like the boxes. Okay. I know the Fever Fudge I think is blue and green striped box. I think one of them is blue and green. I, I did see that. Oh my god. So we finally finished all the Harry Potter candy. That is a lot. Which one was your favorite? Oh goodness. Favorite? Mm-hmm. Probably... Maybe the exploding bonbons. That was mine too. Okay. Yeah. They were pretty good. And then I'm just so happy the chocolate frog actually tastes good. <laughs> it was good chocolate for once. It was good chocolate. Cause I've been getting them, I've been ordering them from like Universal and they've not been good. I've just been ordering it for like, I wonder if the one in Harry Potter New York tasted good. Cause I didn't get one there. I didn't either. I think my mom did though. Did she eat it yet? Yeah, it's been months. <laughs> oh, I guess it has. It feels like it was yesterday. But I don't remember. I, cause I, didn't, I don't think I ate it because I was like, oh, the chocolate's not good. Um, maybe if I ever go back, I'll get one and I'll try it. Yeah, just to see. Okay. Yeah. That was a lot of candy. <laughs> I'm sugared up now. I know. I feel like I have to go eat some carrots. <laughs> I need to eat something salty. To like, oh yeah, your chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that has been our Harry Potter taste test. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time watching it. Let us know if you've been to Wizarding World, what's your favorite candy to get there, or what candy do you really want to try from this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.